الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم وعلى عليه وصحبه ومن استنى بسنته إلى يوم الدين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته brothers today only we have only two ayahs today the reason being that the ayah after this one uh, will we start talking about uh, the Bani Israel and our Sheikh today recited the, all the ayahs that we have done in two days so and um, so we'll finish it up here today for this week and then we'll have a test inshallah ta'ala maybe on Friday morning because uh, I'll bring up the study material and I'll uh, give it to you tomorrow morning and we can do the small test <coughs> on Friday and from next week inshallah ta'ala we'll start from ayah 40 where it starts talking about uh, Bani Israel and all their things and everything as you know the Surah Baqarah is most of the part of Surah Baqarah is talking about Bani Israel anyway so the, these two ayah as you see, this, this is the end of the basically the story of Adam Alayhi Salam in Surah Baqarah that Allah is saying that, you know, we say get down all of you from this place. So Allah is telling them because they have done the mistake, they have, you know, eaten from the tree. And Allah is saying all of you, meaning, you know, uh, Adam Alayhi Salam, his wife, uh, Hawa Alayhi Salam, and also the shaitan, all of them, they, you know, you should get down from this place, meaning go to the world. So from the Jannah, they are coming back to the world. And also... Allah is saying that whenever I will send you guidance and whoever follow the guidance, he will have no fear and no grief. Now is Allah is sending Adam and his wife and Iblis for a purpose of life. And we can understand that Allah is saying that no, as soon as Allah is saying that I'm sending you to the world, Allah is also saying that I'm sending you guidance and you have to follow the guidance. So that is the purpose of this dunya. And that is hidden here that you know Allah is saying that look, it's not only I'm sending you, just you go there and eat and you know, play and whatever you do. No, I'm sending you guidance with this. And also we know that, that Allah already taught Adam salam, about the names of everything, which is basically a knowledge of, of everything else. But now Allah is talking about a knowledge of a spiritual knowledge, the guidance, the revelation that Allah send here, like you know, the, the suhuf, the injil, the Torah, the Quran, all these things is Allah talking about now. Is his spiritual knowledge. So both this knowledge are now tying together here. And also, in the beginning of the surah, we remember that we talked about two qualities of the believer, al-muttaqun and muflihun. And we had a question also in the test, right? And look, who is a muttaqun? As we, uh, again we say, the one who protects themselves. When you protect yourself, when you feel safe, do you have any fear? If you are in a safe place, you don't have any fear. So the, Allah is saying, no fear. So this is the no fear is tied with muttaqun. And then Allah is saying, nor shall they have any grief. Muflihun means one who is successful. When you are successful in anything, like you go for a job interview and you're successful, are you sad or are you happy? You're happy. You're successful in you know, building a house or you're successful in, uh, in doing something in a business, you're happy. So those two qualities that Allah mentioned in the beginning of the surah, is now here Allah is telling that yes, no fear, for the muttaqun, because muttaqun means they don't have any fear, and also muflihun means they don't have any sadness, any grief. So this is what Allah means in this ayah. And the last ayah for today, that Allah is saying, but those who disbelieve. So now Allah is saying, whoever believes, they will be muttaqun and muflihun. But who doesn't believe, and also make the ayah uh, lie. Meaning, see, it's Allah saying, wa allazina kafaru wa kazzabu. Two things here, not one thing. Not only kafaru, there's one thing called kafaru, meaning straight out rejection. Say, you tell the guidance, no, 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 I don't believe you, completely rejection. And kazabu means they somewhat accept the things, but then they modify with the lies. And this is the quality of the Bani Israel also. So they had the truth, and they accepted part of the truth. And as you will know in the next ayah, that coming next week, inshallah, they, Allah will talk to them, you know, you took some from the Quran, and, and some from the guidance, and some not. Because what is the easy part for them? So they make it a lie. So, you know, in their book, they, it was written that, you know, Prophet Sallallahu is coming. And he's the last messenger. But they made a change. And, you know, I found out one thing recently, that in one of the book of the Old Testament, it's called uh, Deuteronomy, in uh, chapter 18. If you, read, if you find it, you, know, you have app for Bible, or you can go into Google. They had a, a verse there. It says that, you know, Allah is saying to the, the, the Bani Israel that I'm going to send you among yourself a brethren who will speak with, with my language or will speak at the beginning of my meaning whatever he will do he will speak with my language meaning saying Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim with the name of Allah so he's talking about completely about 
Rasulullah. And when you say brethren, Allah is talking to Bani Israel. The brethren of Bani Israel is the Arabs. Because, you know, they, they come from two, uh, you know, one from Ishaq and one from Ismail, they're brethren. And now the new Bible, they change this ayah and say, I will send you a brethren from Israelite. So they put the Israelite word, so just to make sure that, no, it's not from Ismail, so it's not possible. Because, you know, with this ayah, if you, if you see the lectures of, you know, um, Ahmed Didat and Zakir Naik and all this, they use this ayah. But because they heard Ahmed Didat and Zakir Naik, now in the new Bible, they change this thing so that nobody can, you know, fight with that. So, subhanAllah, you know, how, how big liar are they? And also, is Allah talking about, as I said, the two quality here. These two quality we can see in the Bani Israel. And also, this is the two qualities of the hypocrites also. What does hypocrite do? He accepted the guidance. Guidance was in front of them. And they, in the front, they said, yes, we are Muslim. We accepted the guidance. But then they have lie inside their heart. And they, make, they spread lies also about, about the Muslims and everything. And so here we can see that, that in the beginning of the surah, Allah said, you know, and Allah said that the people who are kafir, people who are rejecting the truth, I gonna take, I'm gonna take their, uh, you know, the, I'll put a seal in their heart, in their hearing, in their seeing. So that is a punishment for this dunya. So while you are in dunya and you make kufr, your heart is sealed. You are not gonna able to ask guidance from Allah or not able to receive guidance from Allah. But here Allah is saying this is the that was the punishment for dunya. In akhirah also. You will be whom fiha khalidin, you know, you will be in the hellfire forever. So Allah is telling the both punishment for those people. And also the promise of guidance that, you know, Allah will sell guidance and we have to follow this. Allah telling all this surah, the surah al Baqarah, this is to, to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa for our nation, right, for our ummah. And this is not the new thing. Allah is saying, look, this is started from Adam. I told Adam that, you know, you go and I'm sending you guidance and you have to follow that. So this is not something new for you only. And also, we see here that this is something uh, that the Ummah, uh, the Ummah of the Rasulullah should know that, you know, we received only one Prophet Like, you know, our, our Prophet is one Prophet. Before that, yes, he comes from Adam, uh, Ibrahim, but, you know, this long, long time ago. But the Bani Israel, Allah sent them so much guidance, so many Prophets in their line, so many books, you know, Isa, Musa, and, you know, David, Sulaiman, all the Prophets, all of them were there. But still, they didn't follow uh, you know, the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they didn't stick to what Allah tried to do them. So that's why Allah said that, you know, these are the people who will be unsuccessful and they will be in the hellfire forever. So inshallah ta'ala, next week we will have, a, uh, sorry, uh, this Friday inshallah ta'ala we will have a test and tomorrow morning I will bring you the material that we have covered in last two weeks and inshallah we will ta'ala go from there. Jazakallahu khair. Subhanakallahumma bihamdika. Shadu Allah ilaha anta. Astaghfiruka wa tumi laiki.